This channel is creating simple educational videos and it is getting thousands of views. Look at their recent uploaded video. It got almost half a million views and it was only uploaded three weeks ago. And it is only talking about 70 common animal names. And when I hover my mouse to the video, it is only showing an image of an animal and the name of an animal, which has been written by a handwriter. And they're getting crazy amount of views. Same applies with this second one, which got almost 200,000 views and it was uploaded a month ago. Do not click off this video because there is so much value you will get and do not be like the 99% of people who learn something but don't take action. Be like the 1% of people who take action and make it happen. So we're not going to reinvent the wheel but we're just going to make it better. So to create these type of videos, there are only three things that you need. Step number one, we're going to go to ChatGPT. So we would tell ChatGPT to say, please give me a list of 100 most common land animals. According to a video, it's talking about 70, but we'll make it even more interesting by making them 100. From there, we're going to click on enter. So once ChatGPT has finished, we can take a look of what it has written for us. So the first one are mammals. And when we scroll down to the bottom, we've got the birds. And from the birds, we've got the reptiles. And from the reptiles, we've got the amphibians. We've got insects and so forth. So once this is done, what we simply need to have is a simple introduction of the topic that we want to teach the kids. We can tell ChatGPT to give us a simple introduction that the learners are going to learn about these 100 animals. Give ChatGPT this prompt that says, pupils are going to learn about the names of animals. Act as a teacher and write a simple introduction for this lesson of naming animals. You can make it however you feel like making it, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to make everything simple. Now that we have an introduction of the lesson, we also have everything that we need in the lesson. What we simply have to do is to change this lesson into an audio file so that we can create a video. And to do that, we can use a tool called Eleven Labs. I'll leave the link in the description so that you can try it completely for free. So what you need to do is come to where it says speech. So once speech is selected, what you need to do is go back to ChatGPT and copy your introduction and paste it here. If you do not like the introduction that ChatGPT has written for you, you can still change it and make it your own. Make it feel the way you want it to be. So once you are done, what you simply have to do is to go back to ChatGPT and copy the list of all the animals that it generated for you and paste them into Eleven Labs. So there is one thing that I would love you to pay attention to. Make sure that you leave enough spaces between these animals. Once you're done, just click on this button to select a voiceover that you feel will suit your video. And once you select your voiceover, the next thing that you need to do is to click on generate. So once that is done, what you simply have to do, if you like the way it sounds, you can click on the download button. If you do not like the way it sounds, you can click on generate speech again and it will regenerate the speech for you in a little bit different tone. If you do not like the voice actor that you chose, you can click on the learn button and you can select from any of these actors until you are satisfied with what you're looking for. From there, I'll just click on download to save my audio into my PC. Now, once that is done, what you simply have to do is to come to Canva. For this is the tool that they're using to create their videos. Click on create a design. From there, select a video. When we observe carefully, the video is on a white background with an animal and its name. So when we go back to Canva, we'll leave it on a white background. So what we simply have to do is to drag our audio into Canva. Okay, so once that is done, we're going to drag our audio into the timeline like this. And what I'll simply do is I'll increase the page up to 10 seconds. Once we upload our audio like that, what we simply have to do is to listen to it where it introduces an animal. I want us to split the pages. Now, before you click off the video, there is something more interesting I want to show you. So this is where it introduces the first animal, which is a lion. So I'll right click on my mouse and I'll click on split pages. Then where it ends from, again, I'll right click on my mouse and I'll split the pages like that. So we have this page is specifically for a lion. So what we simply have to do to introduce the lion is we will come to elements and we'll search for lion. Now, the lot of lions that we have here, you can choose any of these. So we'll select this one, we'll bring it here. And the next thing that we need to do is to add its name here. So we'll come to text and we'll click on this text style. And from there, we'll type in to say lion. From there, you can choose the font style that you want, but I will leave it like that just for the purpose of this demonstration. 
So once I finish like that, what I simply have to do is to go to the next page and insert the next animal. So we'll keep on repeating this process until we are done with all the animals. So once we finish adding our animals and their names, so what we simply have to do is to download all these images as PNG file, not as a video. So just come to share and click on download. And here, instead of downloading it as, as an MP4, just download it as a PNG file and make sure that all, all the pages are selected, then click on download. So once you download everything, the next step, which is the most important step, is you can delete all these pages that you had generated at the beginning. Once all of them are deleted, click on where it says add page like that. Come to where it says apps. Once you're here, search for search for speed painter. Once it's selected, select the first one, which is this one, and click on where it says open. So this is the tool that we're going to use to convert our images into whiteboard videos. As you can see here, it says you can upload a JPEG or a PNG file. So just click on where it says choose file and select your first animal like that. And here the sketch duration will select it to be five seconds and the color fill will leave it to three seconds. From there, all you just have to do is click on generate. Okay, this is wonderful. So for us to bring this video to the page, we can click on the video itself, or we can just click on this button which says add to design. And our video will be added to our page. So this is amazing. So before I show you how the final product looks, I'll increase the size of uh, this animated video and I'll click on add page. So add another page so that we can bring in another animal to the scene. So the second animal is a tiger. So what I'll simply do is I'll click on where it says go back and I'll delete this one and I'll select choose file select a tiger like that click on open and we'll leave the settings to the way they are and we'll click on generate so we'll keep on repeating this process for all our animals okay so once we are done converting our images into whiteboard animation the next thing that we need to do is to align our audio with our video so to do that we'll click on our audio that we had generated and we increase the size of our audio up to that much from there what we simply have to do is so where my audio mentions the lion that's where i'll split the pages and align that audio with the video of a lion like that once i split my audio like that what i simply have to do is i will drag my audio again and i'll place it where there is a tiger so that i can also split because all i want from this part is the name tiger once I split my audio like that, again, I'll drag my audio and I'll align it with the elephant and I'll split my pages again here where there's an elephant so that I can only have the elephant audio sound is here on this page where there's an elephant. So keep on repeating this same process until we are done with the entire video. So once we finish aligning our audio with our video, the next thing that we need to do to make this video even more interesting is by adding some background music. To do that, just come to elements and from here search for a background music that you want. We'll search for something that is educational. So once you do that, just hover your mouse here and click on where it says audio and you get all these tons of audio that you can use in your video. So search for the one that we think and feel will be suitable for our video. So once you find your music, just select it and you can increase the size of of your sound like that. Make sure it aligns well with your image like that then what you simply have to do from there is click on the sound music and come to where there is this speaker icon and reduce your sound from there play and hear the way it sounds so once everything is set the music is set the audio is set and the animations are set you can add some transition between two pages just to make it smooth if you do not want to add some transition it's all up to you you can leave it just like that it is all fine then let me show you how the final product looks. If you find this video very useful, let me know in the comment section below. And if there is any question that you have or any suggestions that you have, please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. God bless you. Hello, little explorers. Today, we'll learn the names of different animals and discover their amazing world. Lion. Tiger Elephant Giraffe
जीब्रा 